Welcome to Windows channel and today we're going to continue the exploration of the power menu and the start button. So the power menu is that menu you get when you right click on the start button at the bottom left of your computer. And we are going to check at the event viewer option. What is the event viewer? The event viewer is basically a log of all the information that Windows will gather from apps programs and even core services inside Windows 10. It is used uh, by tech guys sometimes. I will sometimes go to the event viewer for example to see what's happening with the computer. If it crashes there's going to be a log or an information file that's going to tell me the date and time and if possible give me a little detail of what actually crashed in the computer. So the event viewer is divided on the left side into categories as you see there's the event viewer local now if you just click custom views you'll be able to um, you know just choose whatever option you want to see you can open saved logs so if the computer has a log of something happening in the computer it's going to be here you can create custom views and import views the way you like it and of course there's administrative events in that section also and it gives you er these messages here you see for example errors now one of the very important thing to understand here is that the event viewer will create errors on some apps and programs when actually there's not a problem so for example say your computer wants to try to synchronize a clock and for some reason the service was not available on the internet so it couldn't synchronize the clock well you'll get an error message here that says oh failed to uh, update the clock or sync the clock well that's not a problem because it will happen many times during the day that this could happen and it doesn't mean it's going to work it just meant that at that time it didn't work so um, you got to be careful what you have of information what happens here is that when you click for example an error message well, it's going to tell you what application, uh, an error log is going to say here, faulting application name, pod player. And actually, my pod player did crash a little earlier while I was watching uh, one of my videos to see if it was okay to put on the net. So it gives you an idea here that it actually logs the type of information, gives, gives a timestamp, and um, whatever module or information here it says, win enet.dll, that's where it crashed. So depending on what you see, you can actually pinpoint. So for example, if somebody tells you, well, I get error messages when I view videos, but you're not sure how the person views videos. Well, here you can say, oh, okay, she, he or she uses pot player. And that's the application that crashed. And you can, you know, maybe try and fix it. Um, maybe you can just, you know, uninstall, reinstall, stuff like that. You also have the Windows log on the left side. And here you see the applications, the size of the logs and you will see here applications so all the information about applications that can crash or not so for example here the error message once again my application was pod player it crashed a little earlier and you have you know the date and time of the crash uh, you've got all sorts of information also about you know whatever happened whatever service is on or not um, this is really more information for the tech guy but uh, it depends on what you're doing at the computer. And like I said, not all of these are errors. Some are just information to see what's happening with the computer. And you always have the menu on the right side where you have the actions that you can apply and see filters of all sorts. So the event viewer is used by tech guys from time to time to check for what's happening in the system, if any, you know, crashes are caused by specific information specific things well you'll know that there's something wrong so for example here oh, sync host serve session service terminated unexpectedly it has done this one time and so you get you know information about what's happening at different times there's a lot of stuff here happening behind the scenes this is also what's interesting about the logs here in the event viewer is that you often have errors that will not even impact your computer usage so you can be using your computer everything works well but you'll have error messages of things happening inside of windows 
By the way, the Event Viewer is there since at least, I believe, Windows 98, if I'm not mistaken, and maybe even Windows 95. Of course, you've got also the System tab. These are errors or problems that are specific to Windows itself. That is Windows itself creating problems or not, depending on what you want to see here. So it depends on really a lot of these little details of what you want to use um, on your computer and depending on what crashes you can check for applications, of course the security stuff, setup, system, and forwarded events that are here, which are events that are sent. Uh, you also have application and services logs. So these are all logs that are on your computer that you can check for containing information about different pieces of software in your machine. And so everything is here to check for. Uh, it could be some really, really good information um, to check for and especially if you've got some problems. Um, if you see a tech guy come to your home and check the event viewer, you'll know that he's actually checking for errors, specific types of errors basically that can happen on your computer. So um, there's of course actions that you can do. Uh, there's uh, options to exit. There's all sorts of options here. You can uh, open a safe log, create log import, and create all sorts of customizations to view it in the way that you want. So that's the event viewer on Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe problems, why not share it with us? We'll try to help you if we can. And hopefully you will come back. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Helps us in the ratings on YouTube. 